Hello boys and girls and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to make uh, FM13 kits and put them into the game using Photoshop. Now if you don't have Photoshop you can get it on the internet as I'm sure everybody knows. Not that I'm endorsing that but I know that you can. Uh, I was lucky enough to have a friend who had a copy so they let me, who had a, a brought a copy so I was able to use theirs. So then guys, the first thing you need to do is you need to download a template pack, which all you do is is pop in FM13 kit templates and you want this one here. Um, there doesn't seem to be any for 13, there's no like real updated ones. Um, go away CV library. But uh, yeah, so this was, which one was it? I used this one here, I downloaded that, uh, it's got a, quite a hell of a lot of them on there. Um, so yeah, just download that one for now guys. If you can find an up-to-date one, that's brilliant. Um, if you do, drop me a message on, YouTube, on uh, YouTube or on Twitter and let me know. So once you've downloaded that, you need to open up Photoshop. I have got C5, is it? Uh, I can't remember which version of it I have, I believe. Mm, this is uh, C5. So, guys, you uh, go to File and Open, and then I've put mine in my pictures um, thing. And these are all the kits here that you've got Adidas, Admiral, Airness, A6, blah 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 blah, all of these to choose from. I'm going to do a crew ho shirt using Reebok there's not many to choose from on the Reebok one at the moment so this should be pretty quick and simple so this is the basic um, base <laughs> obviously of the uh, of the kit but what I also do so I get the uh, oh, mm, so I get the um, kit colours exactly right ears I go into my graphics and my kits da, 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 and I find the team that I wish to do and just drag that and pop up there. Select the little pipette thing and just select this one and the base this is where you get to choose the the main colour of the shirt. So you just go into it like that and then if you just click on there like that there you have it that is now the main color of the shirt so that can go away what you can do is though because it's kind of like a it's got a light on it if you take the hard light off you see it goes a bit darker so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that you don't have to but that's what I'm gonna do that's the texture and then this one here is the kits so you just click on this here and it'll come up with a little you know a little shirt like that and you take it away and then there's obviously that one, the Bolton one. And there's that one. And there is that one. I'm going to go with this one. I quite like the look of this one. Um, so you go into it. And here are the options where you can change the colour of absolutely everything. So, you know, if you want to change the colour of the collar. You, you just have to see if it's got colour out outlay on it. So you can click on that, look. Click on that. And the inner rim of the collar changes to red. So we'll go. Oh, I'll say red. It's a bit of a dark one, isn't it? Uh, slightly lighter. Okay, so there's that. Um, but we'll leave the rest of the colour as it is. And um, this is just a real quick one. And the logo is fine. And then the design. At the minute, that is green. I'm going to change that to black think I'm going to go with like a white and black theme for crew on this one um, let's just close that up see this is why I've chose this kit because it's quite simple actually no I'm going to go for white with that and leave that and make that white and we'll get rid of that diagonal that one is black okay and then the last one is this bit here which I want to keep as white 
so that's that bit there done so really that is the kit sorted so what I do now is I'll just save it uh, save as onto my desktop as a PNG and just change that from crew to uh, from Reebok to crew because you don't want to save over the uh, the master copy because it can really cock it up so that's saved so I'll just quickly close that down no and then reopen it and it's just simply because it, otherwise you have to mess around with layers and stuff so now you've just got your basic layer which is the kit so we'll go to file open and then this is where having you oh, I do that every time having your football manager stuff on here really helps do, do, do. I have an unused folder normal for badges and kits and stuff that I don't use so okay and there we have the badge and then all you have to do is click on this here and drag it over and I know what you're thinking you're thinking well that's way too big that's way too big just select this little icon here right click uh, free transformation and then just that should be all right shouldn't it and then click on that apply and move that or we'll pop it there on the middle it's not perfectly in in line but that's fine that's not a problem it's only a diagram but yeah so there's the badge on the kit you can make it you can change the um, sort of the transparency slightly that'll do so it's just slightly less more standout ish on the shirt and then we need to do a sponsor so yeah open up the old internet images and oh, should we go with I've actually already got an Audi logo but who should we go with let's go with Volkswagen PNG always put in the PNG because it saves you having to mess around with it yourself so we need one that's not like too Shiny and stand out, you don't be really. Uh, da, 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 da. This one I'll do. So I should just take that one and save the image. No, not copy the image, save the image, you fool. Save the image to my desktop. Okay. So there is that and then file it, open it back to my desktop Doo -doo. there it is, ah oh, thank god for that you see because sometimes they'll have like a white background in the back and you can use either photoshop or there's a fantastic free tool called GIMP which you can use to take off the transparency and stuff um, you know take off the backgrounds and stuff which is pretty awesome so I'll just pop that on there, get rid of you and again select that, hit that, free transform And then say about that size, apply that, and just pop that in the middle there. The badge looks a bit, doesn't look right to me. It looks a bit, let's see if that makes any difference. That's better, isn't it? It looks a bit more in, in, in sort of the right sort of thing now and then you can just darken that a bit to make it there you go guys that that'll do me so you can pop little let me just show you how I do this this might drag the video on a bit but if you want to put badge you know the um, shoulder badges on there I don't know oh, I haven't got it if you want to pop the shoulder badges on um, you can do it by uh, empower championship badge, I think. 
and that'll do it and then you'll see it'll bring up these other ones these other kits um a football manager kits that have got them on uh where's the Leeds united one there it is this is the one i tend to use guys so i'll just save this image to my desktop And uh, I think that's worked. We'll soon find out. Yes, it does. So open that and zoom in. So use this little tool over here and just click on that a couple of times. Then press Control Alt and R, and that will take out the rest of the uh, image and you just need to smooth it off slightly I think it's two I use yeah there you go just click on that as well there so it adds another layer move this out of the way and then you are free to pull this over here and pop it onto the arm of that one and then just pop you back up there and Do the same on the other arm, basically. So, pow, pow, pow. Control Alt R again. Pow to two. Just highlight that and that. OK it. And oh, it's highlighted that again. Just take that one off at the bottom. And then rinse and repeat, basically. Where's it gone? Take it off. move over spare me a second guys the postman sorry about that guys the postman turned up okay so we've got that on there it's not fully up to the edge though go on this is the annoying bit sometimes there we go okay so we've got our little kit there not together um so we just need to save it again do 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 Always make sure you save it as the PNG. So that's that, guys. There we are. We've got the kit ready. Um, what you need to do now, this is the bit that a lot of people have struggled with, I believe. Um, some people have had quite a bit of problems with it. What you need to do, if you've already downloaded, uh, let's just shut the internet down. If you've already downloaded a kit pack, you just need to add it in. Take out the shirt that's already in there, if there is one, and add it in. And I'll show you now how to do it. So, go to your Sports Interactive, Football Manager, Graphics, uh, Kits, uh, League One we want for Crew. And then you see here we've got Crew underscore one. All you need to do is, whoa, not that. All you need to do is take that one out. Then rename this one the exact same thing. So crew, which I've already called it, underscore one, and oh no, a oh, minute. Let me pop that one in there. Didn't plan that for you at all, did I? I <laughs> didn't think about that at all. Okay, underscore one. There we go. So we'll pull that one back over here, and as you can see, it's in there. Now this file here, this is where all of the um, things are. If you open it in Notepad, it will show you here, look, that Bournemouth underscore one goes to the team 600. That's Bournemouth's personal ID number, and then the home kit, their away kit, their third kit. So now you can see here, look, crew underscore one to graphics 641. So that's that. If you don't already have a set of kits downloaded what I did for somebody was I made these kits and I made them that I just basically took a config thing and made it myself what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you using their home kit <clears throat> how to add it add the, uh, the shirt in so I'll just pop that there a second and close that down and then if we uh, I've shut this down, I don't need to. If we open that in the notepad, okay. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, and uh, we'll copy this Yeovil one. 
Okay. Hit enter, dash across, dash across, and paste. So this is the squad number, this is the club's actual number, which is 8325101. 8325101. Okay, and then we will just go because I know what the file's called, 8325101 underscore home okay so that's that now and then just file and save close that down and then just drag that over and it's at the very top because of the numbers so close that down and what I'll do now guys I'll just pause and boot up the game and show you the kits in the game and there you go guys, I've just loaded up my old Hinkley save and there is the new kit that we've created for crew in the home kit section on the page and if we go to this, look at that, Henning Burr, England manager, what is that all about? What is that all about? And I will just show you, hopefully, fingers crossed it's worked, the, uh, the other side, the other team who are here we are there we go and that kit is added in as well so as you can see guys it's very simple to do once you know what you're doing um, so if you've got any questions or anything just leave a message under the bottom leave a comment and stuff and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel people uh, really appreciate it thank you very much for your time guys and I hope this has been helpful thanks